Howdy, Beefalo Bart here, and as promised, bring you the video for 1.8 PTS, the Tactician's Authority 5-piece build. And why not a 6-piece build? Well, I'll tell you. But I would like to thank you for watching the video, and stick around, and I'll show you how I've got this build set up. Now, the reason why I am running a Barrett's chest piece is because I feel like it, and because it's going to give me a little bonus to um, skill power and this and that and everything else. There's reasons, okay? Just bear with me. But the main reason I'm running a non-tactician's classified gear piece is for the fact that there is no six-piece gear set. There is only a set bonus going up to five. So... As you can see, my electronics are set to 10,100, and importantly, skill haste 50% and base skill power 409,000, and that's sufficiently good enough. Um, mods are inserted as needed to increase skill haste, and on top of that, uh, the rest is just for skill power, turret damage, and secret damage. No radiuses or extra weird stuff. But how well does it work? Well, if you've seen my other videos based on the performance of what I use these for. And since the, the turret here will actually give you the points you need for your tactician to build. As you can see, I got 17 already. Um, there's 25. It quickly builds up the, the points now. But 30 is going to be still the max. So, I've got my 30 points. So let's go ahead and deploy a secret. Let's do this thing. The first round pops 96,000, 117,000, constant bleed 63,000, kind of the norm there. Now I probably didn't need to go ahead and throw the turret out just yet, but yeah, what the hell. See, the turret does a really good job, and I'll go ahead and I'll pull that turret back up. This we always get beat down over in this section right here. Now, again, this is a squishy build. Let's check that secret pop again. Four, sixty-three thousand eight hundred eighty for the bleeds. throwing smoke grenades at a turret. Nah, nah, you need to walk closer. There we go. And currently right now, the mission for Westside Pier is skill kills. I think I can probably handle that. Alright, so I'll go ahead and pull that turret back up. I'm at 24, so that's not bad. And this is where I'm... Yep, there we go. So we're getting my spawns again. We'll deploy. Play hide and go seeker. Come on. Bleed, little piggy. Come on. There you go. Bleed a little bit more for me. That's it. You're done bleeding. Seriously. Now I'm going to get attacked from both sides. Alright. Side for cash. Well, I get excited for those, but currently the loot that's inside the West Side Pier caches is, is pure garbage. I'm getting gear score 163 items. Point there. 
Oh, so am I, Deucey. Pull up a turret. Say hello to you. I think he's gonna make it. Alright, so we'll go ahead and take a look at that Westside Pier cache anyway. Um, it says 163 high end plus 10 division tech. The only thing worth getting out of it right now is a division tech. That's a 175 gear score. Yeah. But as you see, from regular caches, I'm getting 266, 267. Yeah, it's really a bit of a letdown, the, um, the quality of gear that's coming out of the, um, the Westside Pier caches. And it was a piece of junk chess piece. All right. It's a piece of junk. I'm sure it probably has its uses, but with there being so many classified gear sets out now, um, yeah, it's kind of pointless to worry about uh, a yellow item or a purple or a blues or greens or whatever. If it's not a classified gear set, I mean, what's the point of having it, right? Well, let's see if I can get to a spot here where I can actually just deploy the turret. If it gets too much here, I'll just switch over to the the usual, which is uh, Hudson Refugee Camp, is the perfect seeker mission. So what I want to do is... I'm not going to be able to do it because this guy decided he was going to rush on top of me. Make me waste my recovery link. Go away. Alright, so I think I'll do that. Is I'll go ahead and run over to Hudson. It's a bit more controlled. And what I mean by that is I can actually have working knowledge of where the spawns are, where they're going to be, where they're going to come from, that kind of stuff, the predictability, just for testing purposes. And we'll go ahead and put this on hard mode. Now, I'm already stuck to 20. I want to... I'm going to end up losing that as soon as I deploy my turret, but I'm going to go ahead and redeploy the turret without utilizing those 20 points. Yeah, this is where it's going to suck. I, I really need the... the base so I can show... starting point. So, let's go ahead and get rid of it. Alright, we see our base right now is at 376. Yeah, 376. Not all that spectacular. So we'll go ahead and deploy the turret. The turret at this point is actually used the gun for just trying to get the. Um, stack back up on the 30. So as you can see, as the, the turret's doing its work, it's bringing my skill power up because of this, the Barrett's chest piece. Hmm. It's not capped out yet. Alright, we're at 30 now. Jump back at it just quickly though. 507,825 skill power. That should be quite handy. And I'll go ahead and deploy it against these guys here so we can see what happens to them. Hundred and fifty two thousand on that pop. Hundred and fifty two thousand on that pop. Eighty one thousand bleeds. So very worthwhile doing this uh, setup if you're if you're not able to run and have the dexterity to run something like a Predators or the uh, Nomad like I was showing in previous videos also. You know, if that's not your strong suit and you just want to be able to kick back 
throw some seekers, throw some turrets, and basically take easy mode. Speaking of easy mode, I'm gonna try to get by this fire, run past these turret uh, these uh, booby traps over here. These are a little bit easier to get by than the other ones. Another roll was not necessary, but it looked cool, right? And what's most important in life? Looking cool. So, with 30 stacked on tacticians, we saw what the, um, the secret pop was. So, looking at it here, again, no tacticians, no pop whatsoever. 87,000 and 63,880 for the bleed pops. Quite effective in hard mode against these purples. You know, this is absolutely still going to be my always lazy ass build. I mean, hide, throw seekers, bad guys go away. Loot and scoot, shoot, loot and scoot, right? Well, in this case, you know, the the hide and go seek is the best way. Come over. Hide behind a barricade, throw seekers. At this point, you can go ahead and walk. I wouldn't run because you'll catch up to it, but they're going to be running away from the seeker. They might get a few shots off, but yeah, they're not going to make it. And the thing is, with 50% um, skill haste, within roughly 10 seconds, you've got your seekers back. And I'm not really using ammo. I'll go ahead and restock now, but. I didn't need anything. And at this point, I'll come over. Put this turret up here. Let the turret do its thing. I don't have to sit there and wait for it to get to 30. It was at 18 just then. And, yeah. Mr. Elite didn't make it. At this point, they're clear, but my seeker hasn't come back yet. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, man. i got to wait forever for it. Okay, it's ready. But I had 23 on it, so... See, each, each bullet from my turret is in the 11,000 range. Yeah, it took a little damage, but, you know didn't have to waste any bullets. And with this build right here, you can do pretty much every mission there is in hard mode with no bullets fired. You don't have to use your gun at all. Just the turret and just the uh, seekers. Like this. I'll throw my seeker right over here. And I'll go ahead and head down the stairs, run over to the corner. They're gonna die. I could have waited for him and let him do his run and then run back, but you know what? Not worth the effort. I can stop here, let my seeker work, take a break, scratch my ass, take a sip of coffee, you know, regroup for about three or four seconds. I'm not even looking. Just hip fire nonsense. I know that I'm just going to do that. My turret's going to keep them distracted while my seekers just wreak havoc. You're just going to sit over there and shoot from distance. Okay. I'll pull my turret up. Maybe use a gun. Ugh. Guns are fun. Lies, pure lies. You see, I mean, this is just pure laziness. That's why I farm with this this build so much. And honestly, is it any better than what I'm currently running already on the live servers? Not by much. Really and truly, there's actually a slight nerf in the Seekers and Turrets again. Not a huge noticeable difference, 
but it's just not as good as it has been in the past. You think all the, the PvP crybabies that uh, complain about turrets, complain about seekers, you know, I blame you. Look at me. No, don't look away. Look at me. You won't look at me, really. Puts. But essentially, all you gotta do is just run back over, redeploy seekers, and drop back down. This is just. Nothing to it. 106,000 pop on the, uh, the turret. I mean, really, truly, if you want to be completely lazy, you could just sit right here and deploy your seekers. From here. It works. And when they act like cowards, don't want to rush forward. Get up here, it makes them angry. Oh, they can see you. Well, dude, right there, eat all the seekers. There's no true heavies here, so none of them are actually going to come over and, and melee attack your, your turret. Oh, you're getting a full 30 there, bro. And then you're going to spawn your friend. No, maybe not. Uh, Alright, so that's it. I mean, seriously, I could have done every bit of this. I'll take the scope. Could have done it all without using my guns at all. In fact, I have. You know, I've, I've done these videos in 1.6 and some in 1.7 where I've done the complete missions from start to finish without using a firearm at all. I mean, I'll walk around and just deploy turrets and seekers and clear the entire level. And that's hard mode. So you see, I mean, this is still a viable setup for, like I said, if you don't have the dexterity to get out there and just straight up do the, the chicken dance and run around and do that kind of thing, then I'd say, yeah, go ahead and stick with what you got. Regular, non-classified tactician build, you're going to be with a really good setup without doing any optimization whatsoever. My current 1.7 build is right around 9400 for the electronics. 50% skill haste. You know, it's, this is only a little bit better overall. I mean, we're talking about 10,000 100 versus 9400 um, yeah we're only gaining 600 on on that and not a heck of a lot of damage it's just a little bit more damage it, it's not enough to really justify having to farm the tactician gear set in classified the big benefit to it would be if you wanted to run like a, a Barrett's bulletproof vest I would say if you're going to get and you had your choice of any of them, I would definitely go for the gloves because it's going to give you 14. I'm sorry, the holster because it's going to give you 1401 on all three of your stats here, which is going to raise that poor little 2900 up a little bit because you see uh, rock bottom on both of those guys. And this gear set is maxed out. I mean, I have maxed it out using the um, optimization and it's as good as it gets. If I switch back to the tacticians, I'm going to lose out on my skill power because the Barrett's Bulletproof Vest, when I have no skills on cooldown, I gain 10% skill power. And to me, that that's enough for me to run that versus that. They both have the same armor. They both have the same... Well, sorry. This is going to have uh, 1401 on electronics, where this is only going to have 1272. So there's your main difference right there, but it's kind of made up for by that extra 10%. I don't really gain anything. I can go up to 10,269 on electronics, and it really wasn't that much of a difference. So 
I'm going to actually pull one of the skill haste mods off of this because um, I actually dropped down to exotic damage resilience because I didn't have another one that had um, skill power on it. But it was a 267 roll, so it bumped my electronics up as good as it can get. And I didn't need to run another 3%, but I'm still already at 50% skill haste. So, so, you know, you're looking at it. 50% skill haste is what you need. I mean, you can get by with the 40% plus. So if you don't have a full 50, it's not the end of the world. But, like I said, you can do the same build with or without the classified gear set. It's not really going to make a difference. Because if you look at the five-piece bonus... I mean, what are you really getting? You're getting more skill haste and skill power, so that'll help with the makeup of it. So if you can get five pieces of the Tactician's Authority, go ahead, run it. But I would hope for getting all of them except for the chess piece. You definitely want the holster, and honestly, you could run four pieces of it, and... It's not going to give you the fifth bonus, though, if you run a ninja backpack and then run, say, a D3FNC chess piece instead that's classified. Uh, that's going to give you protection from elites or a fire crest, which can give you more incendiary grenades. So you could juggle it a little bit and run four piece versus the, the five piece. You're only going to lose the 15% skill power and, or 5% skill power and 5% skill haste so if you can live without that they run 4 pieces of classified a ninja uh, backpack and he said your choice of, of chess piece whether it's a Barrett's but if you're going to run the ninja backpack then you really want to run something like Firecrest or D3 or what have you so that you gain that plus 1 to that. So even though you're only running one piece of Firecrest, the Ninja Backpack is going to be a wild card and it's going to make it like you're running a, a two-piece set. So you get that second piece right off the get-go. You can tell I didn't roll this one up because 8% skill haste. Max is 9% on chess piece. Alright, well I guess that's a good enough wrap-up for this point. And just in summary of what we covered in the video was running a five piece classified gear set with a Barrett's bulletproof vest and benefits of running the classified versus non-classified pros and cons back and forth um, I show the, the the proof that it actually works it gets the job done if you are into that kind of slower laid back uh, pace you know it works it'll it'll do what it needs to do so like I said if you if this is your bag go right ahead enjoy and I would like to remind you again and I say this in every video and I'm gonna say it in every video please smash that thumbs up for me it doesn't take but a second to do it uh, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button I need to get my subscribers up so please do that if you're not already a subscriber if you are I really appreciate it but I really need I really need those extra subscribers all right, and also leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about this. Is it just a lazy ass thing that you know you have no skill, this and that, and everything else, or give me some positive feedback on what you think about it, or other options you can run along with maybe a four piece, five piece, whatever, and tell me what you think. All right, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.